The Israeli army has been accused of using Palestinians, including children, as human shields during an operation in the West Bank. One case caught on camera by an Israeli human rights group appears to show Israeli soldiers forcing a Palestinian to go with them as they searched house to house in the West Bank town of Nablus. Another alleged victim who spoke to the BBC was just 11 years old. They had their weapons pointed at me. I was so afraid that the soldiers might do what they threatened, take me to jail or shoot me. Well, earlier I spoke to Jessica Montel, executive director of the Israeli human rights group Bet Salem, and asked her if she was surprised by the pictures. Well, the incident is particularly unique because it's the first time that we're seeing uh, photographs of Palestinians being forced to perform these um, military tasks. Um, it's not the first time that we've taken testimonies from Palestinians. In fact, over the past uh, year, we've taken about four different incidents we've documented of Palestinians who have been in one way or another um, recruited, forcefully uh, made to accompany troops, enter houses uh, ahead of Israeli soldiers. I was surprised at the ages of some of these people involved in these allegations, a 15-year-old, a 24-year-old and an 11-year-old. That seems quite extraordinary. Yes, and it's the first time 11-year-old girl, a little girl, it's the, it, that uh, I also was quite uh, shocked. Uh, it's the first time that we're seeing anything like that. Now, the Israeli Supreme Court banned this practice in 2005, yet it does appear from those testimonies and from these pictures that may still be going on. Do you think the Palestinians will have any face in the Israeli official investigation into this incident? Well, uh, we at B'Tselem has have called on the Judge Advocate General to immediately open military police investigations. That's the only body that is authorized uh, and can get to the bottom of this in terms of um, what actually took place, uh, whether soldiers were doing something on their own initiative or in, or in fact had been trained or received orders. I mean, that's, that's the most disturbing aspect is uh, if there are some sorts of orders from commanders to be carrying out practices like this. So uh, military police investigations are really the only tool we have. Uh, it is the case that Palestinians are fairly skeptical about these investigations. I mean, we are sending dozens of cases to the JAG's office, um, not only these cases, human shields, all sorts of suspicions of illegal behavior on the part of uh, Israeli forces. Uh, they don't have a great record, although um, I would hope that in this case they would investigate seriously. And, and just a final thought then, the pictures that we saw do look particularly shocking, but it's your judgment there may be other cases based on the testimony that you have received. From this last invasion into Nablus, we have taken uh, testimonies from three different Palestinians. Again, two of them are minors and one of them an adult. Uh, we're not aware of any other cases from this most recent um, invasion, this operation into Nablus. But again, we have had some cases, although um, they have dropped off uh, following the high court petition in 2005, but you still see cases here and there.